Karatsu, Saga Prefecture. This is where instant noodle maker Marutai has a factory. Their main product is stick ramen. Launched in 1959, a year after the birth of chicken ramen, it is one of their long-selling products. Bundled in a similar way to traditional somen noodles, it is a type of ramen that everyone in Kyushu is familiar with. The stick ramen noodles are made by the same method used long ago. Hung and dried for about five hours, they're non-fried noodles. The main characteristic is the firmness. After being cooked, they have a texture almost identical to freshly rolled noodles. We adjust the processing time based on the temperature and humidity. It's extremely demanding work. With exports of this stick ramen to Asia surging, the company increased production capacity by 1.5 times last year. They expect overseas sales this fiscal year to reach a billion yen, double that in the previous year. What made it a hit across Asia was pure chance. Three years ago, in an effort to expand sales in the struggling Kanto region, Marutai turned ramen from various prefectures of Kyushu into a series of products, and for some reason, sales started growing in other Asian countries. It was also around the time that a well-known Kyushu ramen chain began its Asian expansion, and there was a boom in tonkotsu-type ramen in countries such as China. One after another, local department stores and supermarkets started stocking the company's Kyushu ramen. At one department store in Shanghai, it has become so popular that it's placed in a prominent section of the sales floor. A package is sold for more than 700 yen. I really like it. The soup is delicious and the noodles are smooth. Sales volumes are growing tremendously. People like the texture of the noodles and rich tasting soup. Another big advantage of stick ramen is that it doesn't take up space, helping to keep transport costs down. Inside are 30 packages, enough for 60 people. Eyeing even greater sales, the development department is working on new products. They say this is selling really well. Macaroni soup, said to be popular in Hong Kong. In developing new products, they are researching tastes preferred in local markets. It's spicy. It has a peppery kick. It's interesting. It seems people like the stronger flavor. In 2014, Madutai launched cheese tonkotsu ramen, specifically for Hong Kong, and the product has become quite popular. Their second product targeting overseas markets is a seafood flavor. While researching the preferences of local people, Madutai develops its own unique taste. We have something called Nagasaki Champon here. It has a seafood taste, so we can put that out confidently.